That's an estate with us. Investors lost 1.7 trillion naira at the end of trading on the floor of the Nigerian Exchange Limited last week. Following major dips in Airtel Africa PLC, Better Glass PLC, and NEM Insurance PLC stocks. The market opened the trading week with 25.91 trillion naira on October 14, 2022, to close out 24.182 trillion naira on October 21, 2022. Their depreciation was majorly caused by collective loss of 2.3 trillion naira by Airtel Africa, Better Glass, and Name Insurance at the end of the week's trading to top the losers' log. Airtel Africa PLC led the losers' chart, shedding 27.10% to 1,312 naira per share from 1,800 naira per share. Better Glass PLC's share also dropped 9.98% to close at 41.50, uh, 41 naira 50 kobo per share from 46 naira 10 kobo at the opening of the trading week. The local boss closed in red, declining by 667 basis points or 6.7% week to date. The insurance index was a top loser which declined by 370 basis points to end the week under review with value traded at 4.4 million naira and volume traded amounting to 6.6 .6 million units. Similarly, the oil and gas index declined by 150 basis points with volume and value traded closing at 702,745 units and 11.7 .7 million naira and the consumer goods index which declined by 90 basis points with volume and value traded closing at 3.3 million units and 67.9 million naira respectively. On the other hand, the industrial goods and banking indices gained 320 basis points and 120 basis points respectively. The volume at the end of the week traded for both indices closed at 1.6 million units and 65.0 million units, while the value traded closed at 50 million naira and 1.7 billion naira respectively. A total turnover of 938.020 million shares, worth 16.701 billion naira in 15,700 deals was traded during the week by investors on the floor of the exchange, in contrast to a total of 491.815 million shares valued at 11.922 billion naira that exchanged hands last week in 14,350 deals. Well, joining us to help make sense of this is Ambrose Omodio, the Chief Research Officer in Vestita Consulting. He's right here with me in the studio. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me again. All Thank right. You. Well, when we look at the market, we saw the losing indexes and then we also saw the uh, gaining indexes. And to a very large extent, we see that the losers outnumbered uh, the gainers. Talk to us about this. Actually, if you look at the market breadth, we have a 33 against 29. I mean, the gainers are more than the I'm reason. looking at the percentage now. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, then I look at the market as we speak, I'll say that the uh, market is still looking for a direction or a trigger. Let me use that language. Why? We saw what happened in East Africa, losing for three, three, three days. That put Mark Dinders to beat a several, you no know, cyclical line of about, you no know, 47,000, 40,000, 45,000, now at 40, 44. It tells you that, you know, it's not a sort of market negative sentiment because of this highly highly priced stock that control more than 70 percent of the index that's why a design investor in our exchange will not be looking at index alone to take decision because you look at sectoral index if you look at index alone, you'll be discouraged to be in the market because for a week we get a lot of 6.67 percent in a week at the limit about 27 point that is, that is the one that responded for the market pulling over for the week don't forget that in the last two days of the week we saw a little rebound because of earnings that are coming to the market. That's why I say investor during the last class I had, just a side patience. Let's see more earnings coming to the market this week and the next being the last day goes. You have uh, your uh, 30, 31 days or 30 days to lose the result after the year, um, your quarter end that ends in September 30th. That means between now and end of the month, more results will be in the market. That will not change the face of the market. But the good thing is that also because looking at what Esther is selling in the market generally, apart from the arbitrage aspect of it because it's a dual listing company in Nigeria and in London. People can buy here and go and sell because the price also has become higher. People can go there and buy. Now, flooding the market, bringing the price down is possible. That's why that is the average aspect of it. But if you look at the company fundamental as ETH, they are into a social service that no matter what is happening, whether there is no 
economic men now people still want to call because traveling from here to abuja become more risky than to take your call and call person in abuja for that you know people that means their service is already there for that means the fundamental is intact it's already the price that is you know come, coming down for me it's a reflection that yes people are not doing a call post flow restructuring moving from one sector to another sector also continue the price of these stocks and their dividend yield if you look at the dividend yield of ete at the price of almost two thousand naira and that what gt will give you or um is to give you people really sell, sell off and buy the TV and Zenith Bank. And don't forget that in the Nigeria market, the most consistent sector in dividend payout is the banking sector. Now, most of them are cheap. And also, we expect that the increase in rates should also impact positively on the banking performance. Now, as let's look at where can I go and make money. That's why I said, don't panic. It's all people that are trying to sell all this one, accumulate more here. So the money is still in the market, around the market, because you are really okay. I'll get a lower dividend in the year, but here I'll get higher. It's your money. You think you're trying to move away from me? It's just market, uh, no oscillation and all the stuff. But now that we're in any season, we expect that this anything will give us kind of uh, a spike in the market between now and end of the month. Uh, but don't forget that for now, the end of November, they will both postpone short because December is already at the corner. On end of the year, most of the companies are what December that if that means that you no know, end of the year seasonality will come out from November. That means from there, time, like, don't worry, don't look at the market and take position, don't just panic. But like all the people that this time for you to have what knowledge or experience at your bed, you need to have this. If you don't have knowledge or experience, you'll be jumping in and out of the market because you are fearful. This is not time to be fearful, it's time to more good value on the market. You know, I was going to ask you what happened, uh, the sentiment that the banking index enjoyed, but I think to a very large extent, you you've said something about it already. Yeah, no, looking at the NPR you no know, hike for most three times, bank benefits directly from that hike. You don't need to you know, talk more story because, especially at the hacking it, if I've given you a loan before, I call you back. We negotiate that loan. I, 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 I wish we wouldn't do that. <laughs> no, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not the bank it's, yeah. the, it's, the, it's the, uh, the industry, you no know, mark they use for, you yeah. they call it, you no know, monetary, you no know, rate policy to control the minimum rate you can have in Nigeria. You can have as high as 40, but that would be really minimum. I mean, if I, I have to add my own, uh, you know, management costs, all those stuff, they, they are, no, at one it's like about 32, 30 percent for borrowing money from the bank, commercial bank is high. And that also affect the economy in another way. Lot. But what well, banking stock they will smile because automatically all these are given at even at uh, 15, 17 has move. It's a profit for them. And don't forget that we were elementary economists. We were taught when we were economic that banks give money to what through interest. That way we're taught in economics that bank give money what through interest a lot. That means now bank can last and be giving interest. I mean you must pay your money now. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Oh, well, that's quite interesting. Okay, so uh, in wrapping up, really, what should we expect uh, today, especially for the week? Well, yes, I believe yes. that we expect uh, still a missed market for this week. Okay. Because the more results come, positive one with the right to. Don't forget that, you know, we need to release a result on Friday. And that result was not, you know, too good for the market. I believe that today the market will treat Unilever the way we belong because, you know, market treat you what you belong. If you post a positive number, market will react. When you get it, well, don't forget that also when there's liquidity in the system, when you post a positive number, it might not rally more, but give investor an answer that yeah, we can see. But when you're posting a negative number, when the market is done like this, and they uh, were seeing that the uh, liquidity system, instead of us selling off to go to where there's opportunity, so I believe that the stock will pull down for those that are long term investors. I don't know what you do at this point now. As a sell down, whether you want to buy the law, but for traders, it's time to exit that stock and move for another one because any season between now and I said earlier, four weeks to five weeks, you see oscillation, liquidity will improve, sentiment will improve, in and out of position will be then, market will be more active this period. All right, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with Thanks us on the show. Me. All right. Well, we've been speaking with Ambrose Omodion, the Chief Research Officer in Invest Data Consulting. And coming up, startups in Nigeria face several regulatory hurdles and suffer from a lack of basic amenities like constant power supply and limited funding. But with the new Startup Act, we shall be scrutinizing this and I will also look at what possibilities this holds for the ecosystem. Stay with us. We'll be right back.